obviously the victory in the last round against Liverpool was pretty memorable, but you've had some frustrations and poor results since then. Yeah, of course we, we want to win every game. So when we don't win, then you know, we're disappointed, we are frustrated. Uh, sure, but we know also we can beat the best teams. Uh, we, uh, you know, we draw twice against Liverpool, we beat them in the FA Cup, we play very good against Chelsea. So yeah, when we play to our levels, um, we can really achieve high, really high highs. Can I just ask you about uh, Garnacho and, and that kind of social media thing last weekend? I, I understand it's been dealt with by the club, but it, it kind of suggests that the, the solidarity in the, in the dressing room is not what it could be. Oh, I wouldn't point to that, but it's so... Uh, Alejandro's young player has to learn a lot and he, he apologised for it and after that uh, we move on. <coughs> and ju just finally, you, you got to the final last year, you obviously lost, which would have been a, a frustration. How much of that is a motivating factor to try and win it this season? That we were in the final last season. Well, last season was last season. And we want to achieve every season. We want to win trophies and... We have a big opportunity because we are in semi-final, but yeah, it's um, uh, it's a huge challenge, and we know all the problems. And always, uh, yeah, when we have when you have so many problems, eh, you have to find solutions. So also for Sunday, we will find solutions, and we want to go into the final. Eric, league position-wise, not sure where it's going to end up in mid-May. Maybe maybe six, maybe seven. Not sure. Would winning the FA Cup, as far as you're concerned, would that salvage what's been a, a disappointing season? I, you have to always see the circumstances we have to face. But I'm not thinking in this moment about this. I'm thinking about Sunday. I'm thinking about how do we go to beat uh, Coventry City. And it's all about this. And for the rest, it's for later. And of course, we are planning for next season. But for now, Hey, in this moment in the season, it's all about Sunday. What do you know about Coventry and what do you know about Mark Robbins? Oh, we, we, yeah, we did our job and we are prepared. So we know uh, their team and we know how they play. We know their individual abilities of the players. And also, of course, we know also the manager, a former United player, um, striker. Um, uh, his long period there, he's doing a fantastic job over there. Uh, so, yeah, we, we, we know a lot about them. Are they dangerous? Being, being a championship side, is there, that, is there that possibility that your team may underestimate them? Of course, there are dangerous there in the semi-final. And uh, then it's logical. And their last season, they were that far away from promoting uh, to the Premier League. So they do a fantastic job over there. And... We have seen the game against the uh, Wolves in the quarterfinal. Uh, the mentality in the team uh, is fabulous. So, yeah, we have to play to our best levels. Jonathan. Eric, so what's the team news? Are any players back? Anthony, is he going to be back? McTominay? Yeah, Anthony and Scott. Uh, I expect them to be back. Um, they didn't... Uh, yes, Scott didn't train all week. Uh, part, Pacho. Um, on Wednesday, today I expect him full. Anthony did train the whole week. Can I just ask for your reaction on semi-final replays, on FA Cup replays being scrapped? Obviously, some of the club's most famous games have been FA Cup replays. I was wondering what your opinion on that is. Uh, it's, it's very sad uh, for um, the British football culture. Uh, but I think also it's inevitable. Um, and... <laughs> No one can do anything for it, and uh, yeah, it's due to the overload in the shadow, and that's dictated by FIFA and UEFA, and also, yeah, English. Uh, England is part of UEFA, but is a, uh, and we are a big competition, and we are um, we have a big influence and big impact, and I think in FIFA and UEFA, but there are so many other countries, and. Are they making the football shadow and you see 
there is so much overload on the players. Uh, we talk this issue so often, and uh, anywhere it has to stop. And uh, as I said, I feel really sorry, really sad uh, for the clubs in, in, in England football. But for top players, uh, this is a measure what can uh, make some space in the shadow. Uh, Andy. Hi, Eric. There's been some criticism of the form of Casemiro, especially compared to how he played last season. How do you see his situation, the way he's playing, and his future at the club? Uh, I think um, we needed the six uh, when I arrived here. And last season, Casemiro uh, was fantastic. I think even, uh, I, I don't think he scored so many efforts, scored so many goals as well, but as a six, as a holding midfielder, as a strategist, he was so important uh, for the team. Uh, this season, uh, um, he struggled with some uh, bad injury. He never had it in his career. But um, I'm not, I know uh, he is such a winner. Uh, see his career. All his career, he always won. Uh, uh, everywhere where he was, uh, there will be success. And I trust uh, um, he will give us also the success, and and I know he needs games, and he will be he will be better, and I'm very confident about him. Uh, he's a fighter, uh, that's why he won also um, the big trophies. He's a personality, and he's a very important player for us. And he, as I say, he will give us success. Samuel. Another key player last season was Christian Eriksen, who starts in the FA Cup semi-final and the FA Cup final. He's not really played a lot since the turn of the year. Is that purely because of Kobe Mainu's development, but or are there other factors at play? No, I think I think that is the main reason. Yeah, yeah that uh, Kobe, uh, his progress, and so we have there an extra option, and it was so important for us. Um, yeah, uh, he's that playing in that say that six eight role um, uh, bring creation to the team bring composure uh, in in our in possession game to the team um, i think that is the main reason why christian has um, less minutes as last season yeah and just clarify have, have there been any more injury setbacks since last week or is, is everyone fine from the bournemouth game um, um, no uh, so we have some problems with, uh, already said, Harry all came against Bournemouth, he struggled. And he had an, an issue, actually, he, was, he, he had a small injury, he didn't train this week so far, but now he's back uh, on the pitch. Um, uh, so we expect him today back in the team training and will be available, I think, I hope, for Sunday. Yeah. Did, did we see uh, in, in the Carabao Cup final last season what <laughs> it meant to Casemiro to be here and still be achieving winning trophies. You know, he's won Champions Leagues and everything, but that day he seemed very emotional about getting the Carabao Cup for Man United. Oh, I think very good question. Uh, I think it's, <laughs> I think that game, and that not not only that game, also how we achieved the Champions League. He was such an important factor. But on that day, uh, he makes a difference eh? uh, with his header. Of course, but also in how reading the game and how control the game. Uh, Richard. Uh, yeah, hi Eric. Just wondering, with the Champions League this week and with Borussia Dortmund going through, have you been monitoring Jaden Sancho and how he did, and does that alter anything in terms of his future here? Yeah, we of course I follow international football, and we always follow the players who are on loan. In, in other clubs, so we are. Uh, it was a fantastic game. Dortmund to get um, Atletico Madrid, and uh, great performance from Dortmund. So and also for Jaden is that is that good news eh? because he uh, he made his contribution to this uh, to this result for Dortmund. Uh, but I mean, in terms of him and Manchester United, has anything changed in terms of the way he's played for Dortmund at all? No, but we know Jaden Sancho is a fantastic football player, and that is so. That is not a surprise eh, for us. That is not.